Good morning. Maya Bayabak. Here's the plan. The swimming pool crew will be working on the area around the steps and the shallow area, plus some more tiling. And we are going to ask for a small change in the steps. The roofing crew will be continuing with the trusses and the purlins. And I am going to ask for your help on terminology because I think I'm butchering it right now. Plus, there is only one of them today. One is not here. And no, you can't change your roof build finish competition date. It's too late. Inside the house, there will be more plastering. I think quite a bit more downstairs today as well as upstairs. Mr. Jesse Bamber, our very talkative electrician, will be continuing with connecting up lights, I believe. Maybe other things. What else is happening? I don't know. What could possibly go wrong? Right, help me out here. The beams that I seem to have defaulted to angle bars which I think are more properly called trusses. Are they also joists? Are they also rafters? Are there just many different names for the same thing? And are these half trusses? Because they are kind of triangular instead of having two sides of angle. That makes no sense whatsoever. Triangular-ish. Does that make them half trusses? The ones going away from us, I think, are the purlins, the sea purlins. Am I right? Is there another name for that? Come on, you builders. Help out the dummy. Right, let's see if we can film anything with, without Marvin shouting at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, okay, the answer is no, we cannot. So, here in the dining room, Marvin and Jeff working on plastering the front wall. I don't know what that means. Blue, hot, not, not hot. Take dizzy pills, here we go. And over here, Richard <laughs> is working on completing the plastering on this wall by the stairs. And another spin up here. We're working on getting the uh, chipping out or chipping of the beams so they can start adding plaster around the home theater or on this side, the sunroom. And a little bit dark, but Ronwell working on plastering here just outside the kitchen. Lots of plastering downstairs today. Uh-oh. Builder's in trouble. My beautiful Asawa with tape measure. Something to do with door width upstairs, I believe. This is where yesterday, Elson, I think it was Elson, was applying that very thin mixture of something. Uh, and it is just uh, a cement and a little bit of sand and water. At least the engineer thinks it's a bit of sand in it. And they're just doing that round all the uh, corners where there is actually no door, just effectively just smoothing things out of it. So, door widths and heights. All the doors upstairs, I've mentioned before, are going to be 2.1 meters. We do have a rather tall son, Jack who is somewhere around, I think, one meter, 87, 88, 89. Um, and my wife is most concerned he's gonna be popping his head up on the top. Or that these entry doorways are insufficiently wide, I imagine, because she knows that I'm fat. Anyway, that conversation will continue. We've had the conversation a few times before but ongoing. 
This is the centre bedroom at the back of the house, the one that I couldn't get into yesterday because it was scaffolding everywhere right by the door. So, getting close to finishing off the plaster on that front wall, and yesterday they worked on all of this entrance area. And in the kitchen, Mr. Jesse Mamba, working on lighting connections up in the ceiling. And remarkably quiet so far. And again, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it, but he's pulling through wires from over there, through the ceiling, over to this point. Here at the pool, there was a question in the comments about whether this water had been seeping up through the concrete or whether it was from the rain. It is from the rain. And this is, you know, a day and a half later. And there's quite a bit still here. So there is an element of waterproofing through this concrete slab, even though it's not been waterproofed. That's a good sign. More tiles going on. So, working around the central island. Still quite a long way to go. It does extend all the way around to the other side where they need to do more of this tiling. Plus, a bit of maintenance going up here. Taking a little bit of the back door that was used for the platform and chucking it into where the steps will be. Larry Langdon, who's pretty much been with us since the start. And in fact, it was Larry, if I remember correctly, who suggested a slight change to the name of the channel. Larry, it turns out, a bit of an expert on swimming pools. Uh, he's down in Australia and this is his business. He suggested that these pipes are probably a little bit shallow and they are. So what I've asked this morning is, do we know whether this area ultimately will be covered by stone, by tiles of some sort, some kind of solid flooring that means that there's no real risk of us doing any damage to these pipes in future? Waiting for an answer on that one. The steps down from the shallow bit they do look quite narrow to me. What do we think? I'm, I'm going to ask whether we might be able to extend the tread on these steps a little bit. It's just after 4.30. Yep, done it again. Missed the middle of the day. Things got in the way. Swimming pool. They have done quite a lot more of the tiling of the central island. Not a lot more left to be done over there. There are still a number of areas, including on that side, at the base on the left, and the same this side so there's still bits to do but getting closer and closer to finishing the wall tiling they've also punched through the hole and started to put the blue tube in to allow water flow from one side to the other which was not really what I was thinking of and I'm not sure that's enough I was thinking that they would punch more holes higher up and just let the water come across 
the surface. But what do we think? Anybody with any pool knowledge? And we did ask this morning to extend the tread on these steps. They are about 11 inches, I believe, at the moment. That's not really enough in my mind, so that's not yet been done, but it is on their to-do list. Plaster, downstairs, in the dining room. This wall on the right was done yesterday, but the front wall has now been mostly done. Keep your dizzy pills handy. This wall is done, or at least this section of it, just outside the kitchen. This is gonna get very dark, apologies. And this bit as well. In the living room, behind the bags and bags and bags of cement, they've done two thirds of this south facing wall and behind the stairs they finished Richard was down there this morning finished off that corner there and then they extended up above the door that goes off towards the home theater room looking back down the corridor towards the stairs the bedroom immediately on the left is completely done there is one wall left in the bathroom that is not yet plastered bedroom immediately on the right 100% done further down we'll touch on the next two the bedroom on the left just here everything done except the bathroom and one wall of the walk-in closet bathroom on the right just around there all done except the bathroom and we saw a couple of days ago, everything inside the master bedroom, bathroom, walk-in closet, all done. Up on top, it's not easy to make out, but a lot more concrete hollow block has gone in below where the roof will be, along this area, and at the front, and a tiny bit going around that corner. Up top again, it is actually getting quite difficult to tell what's new, and given that there's only one fella up there today probably a little bit more limited with progress on the roof frame i did try earlier on today to get up close and personal with some of the connections the welding on the roof to give you a look at that uh, i stood upstairs zoomed the camera in as much as i could in editing and it just wasn't clear so i will try again tomorrow which may mean either going up a bit of scaffolding not much or I might give the drone a shot and see if I can get close enough and zoom that in but I will try and show you some of those connections in tomorrow's video there we go day 134 done a lot of plastering a lot of tiling in the pool a little bit of roofing although it's hard to tell a little bit more electrical and probably other stuff going on that I've missed completely. As always, it's a good day. It's a good day if nothing goes wrong. See you tomorrow.